In this video, we have a set W, and we're being asked if it's a subspace of R cubed. So over here on the right, I've written down what it means for a set W to be a subspace of a vector space V. So there's three conditions, and if all three conditions are satisfied, then we say that W is a subspace of V. The first condition is that W is not equal to the empty set. In other words, it's non-empty, it contains a vector. The second condition says that for all, that's what the symbol means, x and y in w, the sum of the vectors, x plus y, is also in w. This is called closure under vector addition. And the third condition says that for every vector x in w and every scalar c in our field f, here our field is the real numbers, the vector cx is also in w. This is called closure under scalar multiplication. So if all three conditions are satisfied, uh, then W is a subspace of V. So in this problem, we have to determine if W is a subspace of R cubed. That's our V. Um, if you think about it, uh, condition 1 uh, is satisfied. The vector 0, 0, 0 is in W because, well, what does it mean to be in W? The first component is less than or equal to the second, which is less than or equal to the third. So in this case, this is A, this is B, this is C, and we certainly have 0 less than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 0. So that means that W is non-empty. So condition 1 uh, checks. So I suspect that this will not be a vector space because of these inequality signs. So that kind of leads us to jump to condition 3. Because if we take a vector and we multiply it by a negative number, that's going to mess this up. So let's try to violate uh, condition 3 by just making up a vector. So note, now we have to come up with just one vector, right? One vector in W and one real number such that the scalar product is not in W. If we can violate this condition just for one vector, we're done, right? So let's try something in W. How about 1, 2, 3? This is in W, and this is because... 1 is less than or equal to 2, which is less than or equal to 3. And let's just take negative 1. Negative 1 is a real number. So if this was a subspace, it should be closed under scalar multiplication. So now we're going to look at the scalar product, negative 1 times the vector 1, 2, 3. Well, how do you multiply negative 1 by a vector? You multiply each of the components of the vector by negative 1. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And the question is, is this in W? Well, let's see. But, let's see, is it true that negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 2, which is less than or equal to negative 3? Is that condition true? Well, let's think about it. Where's negative 1? Here's negative 1, here's negative 2, and here's negative 3. So this is not true. So this is not in W, because th but this is false. Right? So if this was true, then it would be in W. It's not true. So this vector is not in W. So this is not closed under scalar multiplication. So the answer is no. Right? It is not a subspace. I hope that made sense.